Hey guys, I want to make a, um, a follow-up video on running the, uh, trying to slow a chop saw down with uh, some kind of a exterior um, power diverter of sorts. And um, last one I tried doing was using a Variac, which varies the AC going to it. And someone suggested on there trying a router. <coughs> they make them for routers too, a speed control that can kind of do uh, kind of the same idea, you only want to run it at a certain RPM. So this one's a 15 amp controller, the other one was a 5. The other one, the Variac, would run the uh, machine, but as soon as you put a load on it, it would just kick the brake rack because it was only good for 5 amps. So I think we're a little bit more suited for uh, speed control with this as far as uh, meeting up to the motor. So I figure we'll turn the camera on, we'll give it a shot, and we'll do a little uh, investigative Troubleshooting in sorts and see if it functions better using this. Let's see if we can get everything at the same time. That should be good. So on the switch it has variable off and full. So we'll go to full. I'm going to go to full. I'm actually going to uh, switch it over to variable while it's running to see if we hear anything different. That's what this thing set on five. Let's see what it... So it seems like variable, uh, even on 10, is much less than bar than full. So it, it already is knocking it down a percentage when it's uh, on pegged out on the variable side. I got a, um, a tack. I'm going to go put a tack on it and see what we got in different uh, configurations. Uh, this all started with uh, Tommy Shoe wants to try and run a Diablo metal cutting blade on the carbide type blade saws. And they suggest that the blade, I believe, runs at 1800, 2000, something like that. And these saws, uh, mine, I think, says 38 or 3600 RPMs on it. I think his even says like 4000 or something. So we're going to go on full. And you probably, you may not be able to read this. But uh, we'll see. Should I bring you a little closer? Yeah, let's have you. Get a bird's eye view and see if... Uh, each one is a hundred. I wonder if my... That seems pretty good. Look, I was probably slipping a little bit. It was saying 3,500. I'm going to go switch it now to variable and still leave it on 10. I don't know my hand was in the way, but it was saying uh, 26. Let me uh, knock it down to say four. Um, 23 around there. Now the only thing is, great, it slows the motor down, but I don't know if it's going to have any snot to kind of go and cut anything. So I do have a piece of metal here. I figure we'll try doing a couple of slices on that, and I'll just probably give you a blow by blow as far as um what the thing is set at. 
Uh, we'll probably just uh, leave it right where it is. It's set on four on variable. And it's roughly three quarter inch pipe with, um, I want to say eighth inch wall, maybe a little thicker. So you can tell it doesn't have that much power to it. Let's go to, um, I'm going to go to seven and a half. Now I'm going to peg it on 10. You guys even still on the clip here? Yeah, you are. Almost seemed to me like 10 was even crappier than seven and a half. I'm gonna go back to seven and a half for a second. Um, probably pretty much all comparable. I, I'm not noticing any kind of great difference. I'm gonna to go to, a, to full now. This is probably just bypassing the whole system and just straight power out of the wall at the higher RPM. Yeah, I'd say you probably have twice as much on full than you do when you run it through the, uh, the controller. Uh, I believe this works by clipping the waveform and the other one just reduced the amount of AC going to it. So that one's clip, clipping the, the AC pulse, trying to probably make it more DC as you smooth it down. Uh, if I put a meter on, I'd probably be a better idea, but I think this would probably be a better option than the Variac. I think the Variac would cause the motor to run much hotter than the, uh, the other one. And it's going to be a crapshoot to how well it's going to cut with that blade cutting metal. So the whole idea is to make it so it cuts faster. I don't know. You know, again, the saw will run slower. I think uh, it'd probably be, I think, uh, seven and a half or whatever we tried running it on. We were around, what, 2,600? You put a load on it, you're probably back down to, you know, the low twos. And that would probably be in the window where that blade can work. So... I don't think these are terribly expensive. I don't know off the top of my head. Doesn't feel like it's hot or anything. Look for a part number. Yeah, universal for AC and DC motors. And this guy, I saw them. I saw 15 and 20 amp ones on eBay for around between 50 and 100 bucks. But my opinion is just my opinion, just a guess. Uh, all you guys who know more about this stuff, you're welcome to comment down below. We'll have a better idea what we're working with. But uh, this seems to be the baby. So again, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing, and uh, maybe we'll all get a little education out of using these.